main thing we're working on is you know scribing and fitting logs. So it's working with a scriber to get you know exact gaps and exact reveals, real tight fits. So there's you know there's no chinking. It's all um, you know scribed and then cut to the lines. And it, if you do it right, it fits you know perfectly the first time. As long as the home is has been well built and a blower door test is done that indicates that the air changes per hour are low. Um, it's going to be an efficient home to live in. Now, uh, a lot of the log cabins and log homes built in Alaska in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, even some in the 90s, w are not energy efficient. And so uh, they can get the reputation for being leaky and difficult to keep warm. But that is because uh, the construction methods in those earlier decades really weren't up to uh, up to what they should be. The primary reason for getting the log cabin course going was we anticipate a housing boom in Enana if we have a discovery in the Nunavak 2 oil well. A Doyen's doing an exploratory well and if they find oil we anticipate there will be more exploration and then if people start moving into the area to take oil related jobs. We don't have much housing surplus in Enana, if any. Number one, we could train shareholders how to build log houses. And number two, if they have the skill set, one of the things that Tagatili owns a lot of already is logs. It's a natural resource we have a lot of. And so if we can train some shareholders how to build log homes with logs, then we've already got the resource to feed that industry. Yeah. So that's, that's the fit we're after, and it's, oh, it's just razor tight there, beautifully tight. I mean, a lot of people don't want to burn a lot of fuel, and this is efficiency, and that's, uh, that's really good. I think people will like that. <laughs> Anybody who's moving to Alaska, I'll bet you half of the people that are moving to Alaska would like to live in a log house. And if they can't buy one, then it makes sense to think about building one. Yeah, it really is sort of the Alaska dream.